If your wheels were square, bouncy, they would bouncy. bounce and jolt violently on the road. Yep, flat side, sharp corners, vibrations, energy losses. This is a system with high dynamic instability. Not unlike coolant flow stalling or sudden pressure changes in a really poorly designed nuclear reactor. But if you shape the road with a special wave pattern, <laughs> each flat side get it of the square right. wheel can slot perfectly into each curve. This keeps the wheel's center at the same height the entire time. Now that's an interesting idea, compensating for the abrupt transitions. This is kind of like when you design flow paths to accommodate fluid dynamics in nuclear power plants, especially for something like a molten salt reactor, where you have non-uniform flow, the system can still be stable if the energy balance is maintained by doing something to the thing that is housing what is flowing, in this case being the car. Which prevents any bouncing or shaking, giving you an unexpectedly smooth ride. Now this is not going to be valid at every speed though. At low speeds, you're good. But you start to go faster, inertia and centripetal forces become non-trivial at the corners. You might see wheel chatter or resonance regions start to emerge when you pick up speed. Kind of like thermal hydraulic instabilities under transient reactor conditions. So ultimately not a good way to go.